Hi, welcome to another video where I will be showing how to copy or move one VM across a region and a VNet. So uh, you may come across a scenario where uh, you simply just reorganizing your resource groups and um, in regions and where they're placed and are um, you know kind of redesigning your kind of your your virtual network kind of design or architecture you know especially in a hub and spoke model and you want to move a, a VM across VNets okay uh, but what about if the VNets are in different regions it can get a little bit tricky um, there are different uh, other options other than this such as Azure site recovery or just you know uh, getting down to lower level using Azure PowerShell script so so this is one option and uh, many others and it kind of a quick and easy approach so what I'll show is um, a VM that I have in a virtual network placed in uh, Canada Central region and simply using Azure Storage Explorer I uh, will just simply copy and and paste uh, the managed disk to a different region and then create a VM from it uh, placing it into a virtual network that's in that uh, target region uh, of the managed disk, uh, which is in this case is East US. Here is a virtual machine that I'm using to uh, demonstrate. And as you can see, the current location is Canada Central. Um, it is bound to a virtual network in subnet called DTLRK Dev Test Lab Subnet. Okay. The goal is to move it to a different virtual network that's in a different region, um, uh, East US. Okay. So uh, the first thing you should do is make sure that the VM is stopped uh, so that there's no you know, read-write activity to the disk to kind of ensure more um, data or application consistency. Um, at the storage level. And so the disk of interest we want to move is this, um, is we'll just focus on the OS disk right here. Um, there is a data disk as well. And we're going to move it. So at this point in time, um, I'm really not aware of a uh, simply kind of moving a VM, uh, sorry, managed disk you know, uh, easily through the Azure portal into a different region, okay, and create a VM from that. But what I found uh, to work sufficiently is using Azure Storage Explorer uh, that you can uh, download, okay, it's a Windows um, desktop application, and you simply log in with your Azure credentials, you go to the subscription that has the VM, and it will simply look at um, you know storage uh, you know related um, resources. So in this case here, I have storage accounts in disk. So under disk, I find the resource group that the disk would be placed under, and and let's see, it's this one right here. So VS Dev seventy six. Okay, you just cross check here that the name of the um, you know the resource group name is uh, is similar and the name of the disk is the same as well so I have here that's the resource group name and the uh, disk name right here so right now um, that disk state is reserved for a, a VM called the v, you know VSDF and so um, to start off to the to do the copy it's very simple you just right click uh, copy or hit the copy button here so let's do that okay and then turn to the target um, uh, resource group okay I want to place it into this another actually another subscription different subscription in this um, resource hub vnet uh, FW okay you group uh, resource group and so now I can simply just you know paste the copy disk okay and now I am prompted for um, 
the disk name and the region. So I just want to put in here, kind of denote you know, the disk name tab East US and select East US, okay. Um, and just for maybe cost savings, just make it a standard HDD uh, hard disk drive uh, type. And so I hit paste. Okay, right now it's creating the disk. Wait a couple minutes. Okay, now um, actually that took uh, about like 20 minutes and uh, we have right here that the managed disk has successfully been copied and to the target region East US. Okay, great. Now let's turn to the Azure portal and see what it looks like from that point of view. Uh, okay, and then we go to search for manage disks. And we have, let's see, search for the resource group. Okay, and so that's the disk that's been pasted. Um, the location now is in East US, uh, disk is unattached. And now we can create a VM uh, from this. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's stick it in the same resource group. Um, let's call this VS Dev East US. Okay, and we can only have that VM in East US because the disk is in um, located in East US. Uh, have the VM size, um, license type. Okay, I think that's good. And click next. So we have the disk options. Okay, the encryption type, we'll just leave it as default. And the next thing that we uh, care about is um, the, the target uh, virtual network. Okay, so in this uh, resource group, I have a East US um, a located uh, VNet okay and that has a subnet okay um yeah let's create a uh, east us ip a public ip for this vm um so i have a vnet rule uh nsg rule to allow the uh, public rdp okay uh public inbound ports allow selected uh rdp because um, I'm going to remote desktop into it from the public. No virtual network. Let's see here. Management. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, identity. Shut down time. Email. Okay. Advanced. And okay, I think that's good enough. Review and create. Okay, validation passed. Let's start creating that VM. Deployment is in progress. So while that's uh, being created, let's go to that And let's go to that virtual network. Okay. Uh, connected devices. So I believe the NIC card has been created uh, for that to the new VM, which is this, it's still provisioning. So we know that the VM has been. Uh, uh, placed 
um, into this East US located VNet. Connected devices here. So, okay, that deployment is complete. Let's go to that VM. Okay, East US located. It's in this virtual network. Um, the private IP address is 10.3.1.5. Uh, let's go into that virtual network and it is this device right here 10.3.1.5 and there we go so we have that VM created okay and we have uh, copied and pasted into VM effectively through copying the managed disk and creating a VM from it and uh, associated or connected it to a, a different uh, virtual network. So from here on, um, you can, uh, you know, delete the source resources, okay? Um, and to finish off a move. So thank you for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And for upcoming, please subscribe. Uh, thank you, bye.